We will now continue our discussion about multiple forms. Oftentimes you want to include an about box on your form, which is simply an informational form that the user can refer to to get copyright information or other basic information that the author of the program would like to include. You can create your own about box by creating a new form and then simply entering information uh, into the labels on the form. But you can also use one of the about boxes templates, which has been predefined and will add another level of professionalism to your projects. Although you can associate an about box with a button just as easily as a menu item, um, typically you do see these with a menu, specifically the help menu item. So I'm simply going to add a help and then about menu item that I will allow the user to interact with. Now if you need more instruction on how to create a menu, you should refer to the lessons that focus specifically on creating menus. So now that my point of interaction is uh, for the user is in place, um, I can go to Project, Add Windows Form, go to the Windows Form categories, and as you can see one of the templates is the About Box template, which again has a default name of About Box 1, which of course as always could be changed. I'm going to leave it as is for now and click Add. And you can see in the Solution Explorer the About Box has been added, and you see on the screen the actual template for the About Box. Once again, you see that there's a graphic that's been included, which obviously can be changed. You see product name, version, copyright, company name, and a description. These are nothing more than labels that, are, uh, that can be altered to apply to your specific application. For example, the description area, I could click on the uh, text property for the description, and instead of this default description, I will simply type a this will replace the description just to create a different item in that box. So as you can see that has been done uh, in the description label. Just recognize that all these can be changed by going to the text property of each of those respective labels. Notice also there is an OK button. The OK button is automatically provided and if we take a look at the code for the OK button by clicking on it, you'll see that there is code, this is very similar to the splash screen, that's in a separate movie, where there is some default code there that if I were to remove some of the labels, I'd want to remove these, or at least comment out these lines of code as well. But what I want to point out here is that if you click on the OK button, that will close the uh, About box. Again, a me.close, of course, refers to the current form, which in this case would be the About box. So that is when the user is finished looking at the About box, they simply click the OK button and then that will return or continue, allow the program to continue. Now I'll run the program and as you see our main form appears. I have Help and I have About, but when I click on About, nothing happens. And that is because I have not written code to make the About box part of this project. It's part of the project, but it's not logically part of the project. So I'll return to the form and go to the About item, double click to bring up the menu item, or the code window I should say. And what I simply want to do is to reference the name of the form About Box 1 dot show. This will allow this to be shown, and then, by the way it will be shown modeless, which we'll see what that means here in a moment. So if I run the program once more, click on Help and About, now you can see the About box is visible. And I, I can click OK, and that brings me back to the form. If I click Help and About one more time, notice that I can bounce back and forth between the two windows. I can make either of these the act, active window. And that's because I, sh I uh, did a show as opposed to a show dialog. So if I want the user to interact with my about box as opposed to ignoring it, I might modify this to say show dialog. So now when the user runs the program and they click help and about, they have to interact with this. 
I, they cannot go back to the form. They can move the window around, but they have to interact, in which obviously they can either close it or click OK. That's all they can do in this particular application. So the About box is very similar to the splash screen in that it adds another level of professionalism to your project. One last note about the project properties is that you can very easily set these various assembly names so that you can alter the information without having to actually change the text properties. By clicking the project properties and then clicking on the assembly information button, you'll see that all this information can be filled in at one time. So if you're doing lots of projects and you don't want to have to re-enter all this information uh, each time you create a splash screen or you create an about box, you can allow the code that is pre-written with these items to simply look at the assembly information and pull that data from there, as opposed to you having to manually change the, the labels. Either way will work, just remember that the assembly information needs to be updated periodically or your actual text properties will have to be updated. So like the splash screen, the About box is very easy to use. Experiment with it and it will add another nice uh, professional look to your projects with actually very little effort on your part.